I have so many seeds I need to get sown in the ground today. I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. Let's do it. So what can we still get started in April? The short answer is pretty much anything your heart desires. There is so much that's going to respond well to this particular season. The list of things I wouldn't start uh, will be easier to actually explain. I'm not going to be starting any type of brassicas such as broccoli, cabbage, or cauliflower because those particular crops take up a massive amount of square footage. And for our particular zone, it is so, so warm here that they just do not thrive. The plants might grow a little bit. Or if they do start to establish some type of like a cabbage head or a broccoli head or a cauliflower head, it's going to be bitter. From my personal experience, I wouldn't waste garden space on those types of brassicas. Now brassicas that I would start in the month of April would certainly be your kale, uh, your pak choy, and your bok choy. Now all three of these crops I have grown many many times in these warmer months and they have absolutely done a fabulous job especially your kale. Originally I had planned for this video to be much much longer however I was experiencing technical difficulties with my audio files. For some reason more than half of my audio files were correct so most of the footage of me sitting down and speaking or just talking to you guys had to be edited out. I will instead just be doing a voiceover and explaining what I am sewing. So thank you for bearing with me and let's get started. Now I'm a little bit embarrassed to say but it is so important to be truthful about this. These are the pepper seeds that I started like months ago. So because I just didn't get around to preparing my pepper bed, which this is my new pepper bed. In time, uh, those pepper plants are a little bit stunted. So instead, today I am sowing, just direct sowing seeds into my pepper bed. It took me forever and a day, but you know what? There is no time like the present. So I am planting tons of different varieties of peppers. I believe it's around 10 in all. I'm also going to plant some of those stunted varieties too, just to see if they can recover. If you are direct seed sowing peppers, keep in mind that the ideal temperatures during the day would be anywhere from 75 to 80 degrees, if not hotter. It's going to take anywhere from seven to 21 days for your seeds to germinate. So peppers can definitely be a little bit on the picky side. Only cover them with about a quarter inch of soil and make sure they are well maintained with moisture through the whole germination process. Now every year my garden motivations definitely evolve and change. Last year I was more focused on spicier peppers with just one variety, the banana peppers, that were more practical of um, daily consumption, let's say. This year, going into this garden, when I was picking out seeds, I wanted to pick out more practical peppers that we would eat on a daily basis and we could actually incorporate in so many different meals or preservation methods. Now, if you want to see the full video on every single pepper variety I am growing, I will definitely include a link up above because I am super excited about the different Italian frying peppers, sweet peppers. This is going to be a really cool pepper garden. One crop you can certainly get started in the month of April with plenty of time is tomato plants. One tomato seed packet can be anywhere from two to four dollars and it comes with probably like 20 plus seeds in that particular seed packet. So starting your tomatoes from seeds is certainly the most economical way to do it. At the big box stores these plants are anywhere from five dollars each. I don't even know how much they are honestly but it's definitely not cheap and really what you're buying is time. Right now you have plenty of time to get a tomato plant started from seed. I am currently growing about 40 tomato plants. It is going to be our most well-organized tomato garden yet. If you're interested to see how I made this um, tomato trellis, I will definitely include a link to the video because this has been the easiest 
tomato trellis I've ever done, as well as I think the most professional looking one. So I'm so proud of my tomato garden. I wish I could just like hang out in here all day. An excellent crop to get started right now is corn. Now you're gonna have a few extra weeks to get ahead of the pest. Allow those plants to get a little bit more mature before the really hot temperatures set in. I find the hotter the temperatures, the more prevalent the bugs and things that generally want to destroy your crops become. I have always struggled with growing a good amount of corn. I'm successful with getting a few ears of corn here and there, however, typically they do succumb to the pest. Now, if anybody has any really good tips on how to grow corn organically, I would absolutely love to hear from you. As of right now, my plan is to consistently spray the corn crops with warm tea, which is a brewed version of warm castings. I'm planting this corn around eight inches apart in full, full sun. Next, I am direct sowing melons, cucumbers, and if you haven't gotten started with your squash, any type of summer squash like zucchini or yellow squash, pumpkins, winter squash, now is the time to do so. It is definitely warm enough and you are going to see these plants really thrive during this particular season transitioning into the summertime. I am growing these particular watermelons about three feet apart. Now I have definitely grown watermelons closer together, especially if I'm utilizing some type of a trellising system. If you're doing that, I would definitely pick a smaller variety that weighs under 10 pounds. Next, I am planting my tomatillo seeds. These are very, very quick growing plants and they are they do produce a lot definitely plant at least two together though they do need two to pollinate i'm also growing cilantro because i love cilantro it is so simple to grow as well you can overcrowd cilantro it is fine it's an herb that will still thrive even in an overcrowded situation and right next to the cilantro i end up putting an entire seed packet of spinach down because i wanted it to be more of like a microgreens type situation where it was super lush now if you haven't started a more sensitive crop like spinach definitely do that now because they do not thrive well in the heat. If you are looking for a crop that does thrive well in the heat that's similar to spinach, start your Swiss chard because May is the best time to grow Swiss chard. Other great crops to start in the month of April would be your beets, carrots, peas, beans. Any type of legumes are going to absolutely thrive during these particular months. You can get your potatoes started, radishes, any type of eggplant is going to absolutely respond well. Your tomatoes, peppers, and most different herbs. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye.